I thought the National Mall was filled with everyone's favorite stores, but I was wrong. The National Mall is a large amount of land, covered with the most remarkable structures, such as memorials and monuments. Without Lenfant and McMillan, the National Mall would not be what it is today. Lenfant's designs and the McMillan plans all helped to impact what the mall is known as today. Pierre Lenfant originally designed the mall and had visions and great ideas for the mall. Lenfant works in New York City, remodeling the old city hall in Philadelphia's Federal Hall after the war had ended. Lenfant and the great George Washington had a special bond while Washington served in the Revolutionary War. Lenfant asked permission to design the national capital. One very smart Frenchman named Pierre Charles Lenfant was required to design the city. 1791, Lenfant was hired by Washington to work and design this great project. Pierre Lenfant was the person who had the vision for the National Mall. Lenfant had great dreams and ambitions for the mall, and the mall today remains true to Lenfant's design. Lenfant did not play it safe, having a very complex plan, including a grid system and diagonal avenues. Lenfant made it very specific how he wanted the avenues to look like being wide, grand, and lined with trees. The National Capitol, a diamond-shaped 10-mile track and the, at the confluence of the Potomac and the Eastern Branch Rivers. In his early written plans, Lenfon shaded and numbered 15 open, large spaces, spaces at the intersections of these avenues and indicated that they would be divided among the states. Lenfon produced a bad temper and he refused to meet a deadline. Because of this, Elliot Cott took his place. In 1971, Lenfant's plan was designed, then mapped the following year. Lenfant ended up dying on June 14, 1825, but still was remembered for his vision and his great plan. Mac Villain, a senator, had new plans for the mall, called the McMillan Commission. The McMillan Commission was organized by James McMillan in 1901. The Million Man March was the name of the outcome of the African Americans regarding the issues of racism. A lot of people were looking forward to expanding the mall to include the mall's potential and power. Expanding the mall westward and southward, including riverbeds to make do with, was a part of the McMillan's plan. The McMillan Commission plans were implemented predominantly during the f first three decades of the 20th century and continued periodically thereafter. Establishing a comprehensive recreation and park system that would preserve the ring of civil war, fortifications around the city. The McMillan Commission sighting of the Lincoln Memorial reinforced, reinforced the historic symbolism of the mall as described in 1911 by Henry Bacon. When the Senate Commission was formed in 1901 to explore and pl plan the design of the city, the project encompassed the historic core. Plans were put forward for the de development of the mall, which would include newly reclaimed Potomac Flats. A century ago, the McMillan commissions a chaotic frag mall fragment management. The National Mall is filled with some of America's greatest historical memorials and monuments. Two letters follow every street name in relation to the capital, as in NW and E. S E S W Washington Borders, Maryland, and Virginia. The mall has been called the Great Park of the American People and a pageant to over 200 years of American history. On July 4th, America's birthday is cherished on America's front yard by half a million people. The National Mall is the heart of Washington, D.C. and is very well cherished because of this. The National Mall is run down and very dirty. People question how it got that way. It is not up to the National Park Service to keep up with its beauty, begging for benefactors. The Smithsonian Institution began in 1855, constructed of red stone and bristling with towers and battlements. It was soon known as the Castle. The institution began as a museum, and today the, nation, the nation's attic is the largest museum complex in the world, with 19 museums nine research centers, and a national zoo. Some people think this memorial of the king is very important and disproves the post-racial society. Because of Pierre Lenfant's original design and Macmillan's plan, it helped impact what the mall is known as today. 
Now, from hearing more about the National Mall, you can see how people that helped come up with the ideas for the mall ended up making it a remarkable place. I thought the National Mall was filled with everyone's favorite stores, but I was wrong. The National Mall is a large amount of land covered with the most remarkable structures, such as monuments and memorials. 